Hello there and welcome to the programme. Well, many people are lucky enough to have a place they can call home. But for an increasing number of Irish citizens, this is no longer possible. Right now, for a variety of reasons, many people are finding it simply impossible to afford to either buy or rent homes, especially in and around urban areas. So what can and should be done to try and ease this situation, which is rapidly spiralling into a housing crisis? That's what we'll be discussing in a short while. First, though, this report from Richard Downs. Who'd have thought that we'd lurch from a bubble of overbuilding to a crisis of shortage? But that's where we are. It may be worst in Dublin, but it's happening in urban areas right across the country. The supply is squeezed and demand is high. The daft.ie report is confirmation of what the homeless agency Focus Ireland has been finding for months. Rising rents are forcing the weakest onto the streets. When we started doing that work in 2012, we were seeing about eight families becoming homeless every month. Last year, it was an average of about 16 per month. And in the first part of this year, it's now risen to an average of 32 per month. That's essentially a family a day losing their home, uh, presenting as homeless and having to be put up in a B&B or a hotel. Problems with rent supplement have been well documented, but the supply of housing is a major factor. Building reached heady levels in 2007 before collapsing to a virtual trickle. The picture is the same for subsidised homes, with public housing output down 90%. Carl Dieter believes we're brewing a major new crisis because nothing has been done to change the foundation of housing. Personally, I have a very fatalistic view of it because we have been doing boom and bust for a very, very long time and lots of developed countries have been doing booms and busts for very long times. And these are all places that are full of intelligent people, but I don't know what we're doing that's any different than what they've done. We're not doing anything unique to make sure we don't do this again. And that's the problem. You have to get across the curve. You have to get ahead of where we are today. And that's what we haven't done. So unfortunately, yes, we're going to go boom and then bust once again. Immediate action is not as easy as it looks. The current problems in the housing market are, of course, a symptom of our recent past, of the recession, of the collapse in the property bubble, leaving us with an overhang of properties like this, good for office accommodation, but perhaps no good for addressing our current problems, a housing shortage. Even though NAMA is sitting on the largest property portfolio in the world, the supply is not necessarily in the right place. And there's a confusing plethora of overlapping and confusing regulations and laws which may be creating uncertainty for potential developers. I think the government need to get out of the way. They've got to let people have a lot less red tape. I think they've got to award a lot of planning. We have 30,000 planning permissions and they're not being used. But we're not looking at the people behind that. Are they in NAMA? Are they insolvent? Are they able to get credit? All of which is storing up big problems particularly for those priced out of the housing market. We know from international research that uh, children who experience homelessness are far more likely to experience homelessness as adults. So you really have to wonder what scale of a problem we're uh, building up over, over the, the crisis that's currently facing us. 